Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this example, we're going to find the interquartile range, but we're going to use our TI-83 or 84 calculators to help us out with this process. Okay? So let's go ahead and grab our calculators and see how this works. Alright? So basically this will involve a few steps. First, I have to get all of my data into the calculator. And two, I have to make it compute the Q3 and Q1. This is basically the upper median and the lower median. And then once the calculator gives us those numbers, we're going to subtract the two. All right? So let's first get all of this data into the calculator. To do that, press your stat button. Notice how edit is selected. So press enter and enter all of this data in your first list. Perfect. Once you have all of that data entered in, press your stat button again, but this time arrow over until you have calc selected. You want to go into the first option that says one variable stats. So it should be selected. Go ahead and press enter. Now we need to tell the calculator what data to use. Remember, we stored everything in list one. So go ahead and press second and then the number one because that will bring up list one. All right, everything looks pretty good. Let's press enter and have it calculate all our, our data. All right, notice how it gives us a lot of different information. Scroll down and you'll be able to find the Q1 and the Q3. Let's go ahead and write these down. I'm getting that Q1 is 12 and a half and Q3 is 23. All right. Well, now that the calculator's done its job, let's do ours and subtract the two in order to find this interquartile range. So we want to take this Q3 and subtract Q1. Alright, so we're basically going to take 23 minus the 12 and a half. This will give us an answer of 10 and a half. And sure enough, that is the interquartile range. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.